Hello, my soccer universe. I am positively destroyed. Uh, I won't, was not planning on wearing Arsenal, honestly. Nope. I wanted to wear this pink jersey here. Because Lusk, I called it Lusk will play in pink with white pants at Sporting. Yesterday I said the best wins are the ones that you didn't deserve. Yeah, and the worst losses are the ones you didn't deserve. I can talk for ages, I can get... Uh, it's frustrating. Lusk dominated Sporting. Dominated Sporting. The team was not on the field. And like against Rosenborg, they cannot get the second goal or they cannot find the goal. I mean, they got the goal through Rakuts in the 15th minute. But at that point, it should have been already 1-0. At half, if it's 2-3-0 for Lusk, Sporting cannot complain. Right after the half. I mean, Sporting, how they got three corners, I don't even get. I mean, they had possession, but through the press, I mean, I had to feel Lask is controlling the game at will. Except for the goals. And, yeah, if a certain Thomas Goeginger is a little bit more aware of where other players are positioned, this could help. On the other side, he was the single most the biggest threat that um, Lask had. So, I mean, you gotta take his faults with his qualities. The inaccuracies in getting on the goal, I mean, it's like uh, in training the goals are twice as wide. Second half, for first 10 minutes, same picture. Sporting is not on the field. Then they get a corner and make the 1-0. No one is standing at the far post. I mean, that was the first thing that I didn't like. I said, okay, 1-1. One, one. Yeah, it's a little shocker. And then for five minutes, five minutes, Sporting seemed to be a little bit more, more dangerous. There was a free kick that went under the wall, which was saved. And then again, out of nowhere, they forget about the star, which I can't even recall his name now. I have a number eight. Out on, and he takes a shot. And yes, he's a great player. He knows where to put the ball right at the post, going in. And then again, same picture. Took them maybe... Another five minutes, five, ten, ten, ten minutes. Then again, Sporting was not on the field. I mean, it was a, a, at the very, very end. Pro Sporting could, 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 could have even made a third one, which would have fitted. But before that, again, there were chances. Klaus needs to make it 2 2 in the 60th. Go again and needs to. I'm fuming. I'm fuming. It completely ruined my evening. Uh, and it was an overall and joyful e e evening. I mean, I put my most emphasis on the last game I had on the other screen, the conference, the early, the early, early games. I didn't see uh, that many. But yeah, let's run through the results and let's see what I remember. Dudelange, Karabakh, uh, mostly notable for a drone incident. Other than that, Karabakh beats Dudelange away from home 4 1. It was, I think, 4 4 0 before Dudelange put some, some, something back. Um, yeah. <laughs> they got the win uh, in Nicosia and then loses home to Karabakh. Sevilla gets a very, yeah, Chicharito scores the one, one nil and then the not, not much more. I, it seems a little bit disappointed, but you know, Robert Wayne second, first or second gear. Uh, Lugano Dynamo Kiev, uh, very uneventful nil nil. Malme Copenhagen, uh, that I think is interesting because those two teams are only separated by the Horizon Bridge. Uh, although from different countries, and the Dane makes the 1 0 for Copenhagen, but it is an own goal from Malmö, and then Rosenberg gets a 1 1. Um, so, in that group, we have now Copenhagen and Kiev with four points, and the other two have uh, one each. Um, we have then um, Krasnodar uh, losing at home to Getafe. Um, I don't know what's happening to Krasnodar, honestly. Um, to me, um, uh, some some sort of mystery. They pulled one late, back late, but really not much happening. Uh, Trapson score man, uh, two two against Basel, but one of those where Basel took the lead and Trapson score, score Trapson score scores two, and then Basel gets the equalizer. The second goal with Trapson score was a free kick, uh, really really nice one. Um, 
But yeah, Getafe and Basel seem to be in control of that group now. Then last group, I mean, uh, I talk about the Sporting last game or, or already. What's even more infuriating is that I honestly think this was the big chance to actually advance in this group. If you get a result, I mean, and if you get the win this way, I think it will be hard because Lask has to play now twice. PSV, who absolutely annihilated Rosenberg. This is what you do. When you have chances, you take them. And it's not even a question anymore. The group now, yeah, Lask has to play twice PSV. And it might be an uphill battle from there on. Because if Rosenberg continues the great trend, the uh, Sporting might get six. And then, phew, that's that. Yeah, and you need to uh, last needs to get a result against PSV, which honestly a point at most the way they're playing. Uh, then a fun group is the group E um, between Celtic and Cluj, two nil relatively. Um, yeah, there was never much in danger. Lazio turns the game around. Uh, Ren took actually the lead, and then Lazio comes back with Savic and uh, Immobile getting them off to a start uh, that, you know, uh, they had they already lost the Cluj. It's a little bit weird to see now, because Celtic has not been that great in Europe, but now they lead. So weird, but also a little bit happy. Cluj and Lazio with three points, Ren with one. Um, Guimaraes uh, loses at home to Frankfurt. They had a glorious chance early on. Uh, where they hit the post and then over the bar. Frankfurt gets a very uh, lucky goal through Ndika. They uh, make it 1-0, one, one but barely hangs on to that. Arsenal completely destroys Standard again with a uh, second-string squad. I think an 18-year Brazilian scored the first two goals. Um, yeah, that's why I'm wearing Ar Ar Arsenal. Uh, probably the only team of my Europa League teams that, uh, that I have a jersey that won yesterday. So that's another reason to do it. But Arsenal toys with this group and seems like an early, early fav favorite to win it all. Uh, probably the match of the evening occurred in Group G between Feyenoord and Porto. Feyenoord wins it 2-0, but I think Musa Marego had a glorious chance that he has to make. They hit twice the woodwork. Feyenoord also hits once the world woodwork. This was an absolute joy game to watch. Um, and, and, and this is another fun, fun group where Young Boys then beats Rangers 2-1. Uh, also come from behind when in the last minute. Kind of lucky. And in that group now all teams are now three points. It's only goal difference and head-to-head uh, -head that kind of separates them a little bit. Then we are already... Group H, Verrasgrad, wow, 3-0 at Ferenc Varos. They already uh, destroyed at CSKA, uh, who themselves lost to Espanyol 2-0 at home. So the Russian teams in the Europa League are nothing to uh, write home about. Alexander in the home debut, but they had to play in Lviv, uh, plays 1-1 against Ghent. They get the late equalizer. Santa Etienne Wolfsburg was a game where, you know, uh, the goals came early. First Santa Etienne in the 13th and 15th. Uh, Wolfsburg equalizes, and then there should have been two penalties for Saint Etienne, which never materialized. Uh, in Group J, the uh, Istanbul Bajakshi here has to give up a very late equalizer to Gladbach. They got the early 1 0. Gladbach is also a little bit off track. Roma had a lead in Graz against Wolfsburg. Yes, Wolfsburg is not playing in Wolfsburg because the stadium is not uh, proper and they cannot actually play uh, in the closer, bigger stadium because there's a forest in there. Talked about that. Uh, they equalized through Lindel with a wonderful uh, shot from a distance. Uh, yeah, at the end, Roma had a big chance, but I, th I think they deserved the point. I mean, and saves the Austrian honor to be. I mean, Great performances all over, but only one point showing. This, this is the another thing that angers me big time. But Roma and Wolfsburg <laughs> with Forage and Gladbach, uh, but actually with one. So let's see where this is going. Um, Wolves gets a very late win at Besiktas in a pretty crappy game, and Braga uh, has to twice get an equalizer, uh, one in the almost last last minute through an own goal um yeah that is a game that Prague actually has to win Galtiel clearly said they still lead not the group together with Slovan 
wo es ein beschickt ist, um, with, um, uh, behind in that order. And then uh, Partisan wins in Astana, gets actually 2-0 up, Astana just pulls one back. And Altma United ends in a sort of dreary 0-0 draw, which means the Partisan United control this group. They play each other now in the double games. As I said, I am still devastated by what Lask pulled. Um, no. I agree, they played well, so it's not this emptiness I feel after a loss uh, of Milan these days. It's just I'm angry. You got to let a team off the hook. It's really, you let them off the hook, you had them there, you had beaten them to pulp, you just cannot get the finishing blow. Don't make your opponent strong by missing chances. That's the lesson I've learned. And it will hurt. It hurts a little bit. But you know, soccer is a cruel game. Anyway, let me know what you watched yesterday. Um, fill me in on the other games. I only saw highlights and couldn't see much. Uh, would be nice to hear your opinion. Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.